Angkor is one of the most important archaeological sites in Southeast Asia. It was the capital of the Khmer Empire from the 9th century to the 15th century, a city built by god kings. It reached its peak at the end of the 13th century, a city at the time the size of London today. The complex includes magnificent monuments like Angkor Wat and Bayan Temple. It took almost 500 years to build, but only a century later the city lay deserted, abandoned to the jungle. For 400 years Angkor lay derelict and forgotten until rediscovered in 1860. Today Angkor is recognized as one of the wonders of the world and one of the greatest cities the world has have ever known. There are two ways to visit the park, the long circuit and the small circuit. I decided to go with the small circuit and hit the big three, which are Angkor Wat, Angkor Tom and Top Prom. Top Prom is very famous because of the movie Tomb Raider, Lara Croft Tomb Raider with Angelina Jolie. Your tuk-tuk driver will drop you off at the entrance of a temple and I start with Angkor Wat and then he picks you up on the other side and take you to the next one and so on until you finish the circuit. If you're gonna watch the sunrise at Angkor Wat, get your ticket the day before so you don't have to wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning like I did. Angkor Wat is the largest religious monument in the world. The temple was built by King Suryavarman II as a Hindu temple dedicated to the god Vishnu. It gradually transformed into a Buddhist temple towards the end of the 12th century. The temple has been part of the Cambodian flag since 1863. It is a source of great national pride and a powerful symbol of Cambodia. It even has a beer named after it. How cool is that? The temple was designed to represent Mount Meru, home of the divas in the Hindu mythology. Living in Angkor Wat, just outside the main entrance, there's a market selling souvenirs and the finest food if you're so inclined. Angkor Thom was the last capital city of the Khmer Empire. It was established in the late 12th century by King Jayavarman VII. It was eventually abandoned in the 16th century. Monks, let's see if I can get some enlightenment. No enlightenment, I'm afraid, but a good luck bracelet. Hook on. Money. No money, no luck. Bapuyun Temple. It's a Hindu temple. It was built in the 11th century and it was dedicated to the god Shiva.
man this is some serious serious steep steps holy let's go down Rentiek Day. Not sure if that's how it's pronounced. This temple was built between the 12th and 13th century by King Jayavarman II. The temple is not restored, which allows you to experience what the temple might have looked like originally. to be a very popular temple. Tons of people here. This is Toprom. Toprom. Temple, the famous one from the Tomb Raider movie. So let's go and check it out. Toprom was built in 1186 CE. It's a Buddhist temple and also built by Jayavarman the seventh. Can you imagine if Tapron had been diligently maintained since 1186 to now? It would be just a footnote to the larger Angkor Wat Now, it's been completely devoured by the jungle. It's incredible the way the trees climbed up the rocks and the walls. It's just magnificent. Some trees are 500 years old and have grown to be part of the temple. stuck in the mud okay hold on let me push okay I'm gonna help and oh, man okay all right there you go all right now here I am in the middle of this mud Okay, and there comes a truck. Oh boy, we made it out. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if that was part of my package. Is he gonna take off and leave me here? Well, my backpack and my camera, everything is there. Oh, I thought he was going to leave me behind. Now, he's a good man. Just get out of the soft mud. My name is Duke. Luke? Yeah. So you sell books? Yeah. Let's try this, the Mexican Bulldog. <laughs> 